Thousands of CP rail workers across the country are off the job, a labor dispute grinding a major part of the supply chain to a halt. Farmers and dozens of other industries are warning the impacts of a protracted work stoppage could be catastrophic. Dan Spector has more. These Canadian Pacific rail workers in Calgary, Montreal and Port Coquitlam, B.C. are just a fraction of the 3,000 on the picket line across the country after the Teamsters Union and CP failed to reach an agreement. The company, unfortunately, uh, wasn't really in the, uh, in the mood to negotiate with us, so here we are. The two sides have been in contract talks since September. Each is blaming the other for the dispute and for causing the work stoppage. But as negotiations continue in Calgary, with the assistance of federal mediation and conciliation services, people like Saskatchewan wheat farmer Daryl Fransu are holding their breath. The, the global food supply is is in jeopardy and, and this just doesn't help it. CP ships roughly half of all Western Canadian grain. 75% of fertilizer in Canada is moved by rail. Farmers here are now in limbo. Put the blame on the unions and, and normally I don't do that, but I, I just see it as greed on their part, unfortunately. 45 Canadian business groups signed a letter last week calling for binding arbitration, saying a stoppage could do irrevocable damage to Canadian supply chains. In the context of COVID, exploding commodity prices and soaring inflation, the union blames the company for creating even more insecurity. While CP says the Teamsters acted irresponsibly by going on strike before responding to their last offer. It's uh, work conditions, uh, more stable work schedule. Obviously, like everybody else, there is the, uh, the salary aspect of things. The House of Commons resumes Monday after a two-week break, and many industry leaders are hoping the first order of business is back to work legislation. These kinds of things, like the blockades that happened at the various border crossings, these really undermine our reputation as that sort of reliable uh, trading partner. Labor Minister Seamus O'Regan is in Calgary keeping a close eye on discussions. You know, everybody would agree, can't go on very long. Um, you know, like I said, there's just no appetite in the country for this right now. O'Regan is not committing to back-to-work legislation, saying the pressure is on the parties involved. Every hour that goes by is an hour too long for manufacturers and for farmers in this country. Dan Spector, Global News, Ottawa.